In this video, I'll be going over five tips on how to look your absolute best when rocking a Corona quarantine buzz cut. What's up everybody, George here from GMP Lifestyle, helping you guys dress better, look better, and ultimately be better through style tutorial and tips videos like this. And in today's video guys, I'm gonna give you five tips on how to look your absolute best when rocking a quarantine lockdown buzz cut. Now basically, I buzzed my hair right at the beginning of quarantine here, which was middle of April, all with the goal in mind to help sort of reverse some of the hair loss I've experienced over the past couple of years by doing at home little treatments. If you guys are new here to the GP Lifestyle community, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you never miss when I upload a new video. Let's jump into it. Tip number one on this list is to start off with the longest guard you have and look at the look. A lot of times when guys think bus cut, they think taking on, slapping on a zero guard or taking off a zero guard and going straight down to the scalp. That may be fine, but why would you risk that what if you don't like the look and you look too goofy and you went too short well now you're gonna be stuck with it for at least a month until most of it grows back what i recommend doing is starting off with a three or four guard going longer and going layer by layer start off with number four do you like the look is this suit your face shape maybe it doesn't maybe it does you can quit there or you can go lower this is definitely the best starting point because you're not going to mess up yeah your haircut may take you like an hour or two to do because you're just going it length by length but you're definitely going to find something that's going to suit your face and ultimately like how you look for me personally it's going down straight to that zero it's easier to maintain and i actually don't think it's such a bad look for me because i can grow out a beard a little longer than let's say like a two or three guard so i can darken a little bit because it is blonde number two on this list is something that a lot of guys forget and that's to clean up the back of the neck i know if you're giving yourself a buzz cut at home it can be a little bit difficult but definitely bringing up that back neckline just a little bit can look a little bit more neat and put together i know a lot of us aren't barbers but definitely if you want to have your buzz cut look nice and clean definitely clean up the sides and back of the neck just so it looks like it was a little bit more professional and not something that you really did at home using the cheapest pair of clippers that you could get at Walmart. Tip number three on this list is to grow out your beard the same length as the bus cut. Now, if you can't grow out any facial hair, definitely getting a fade here will be a nice alternative because you can get a little bit more structure throughout the sign. But if you can't grow out your facial hair, definitely grow it out to the same length that you cut the top of your hair with. So if it's a number two guard, number two guard, with the beard, three and three, pretty much. This gives you that seamless transition between your beard and head hair. It's an awesome look. This is definitely what a lot of guys who have experienced a lot more baldness <laughs> tend to do, and it honestly gives it a great look. It's very neat and organized, and even if you can grow out a beard, you can definitely also get a fade, like a low skin fade or even a high skin fade, and have your sideburns and a bit of your beard transition into it for that awesome look if you can give yourself a fade or actually get a haircut. Tip number four on this list is something that I had to learn the hard way is that you gotta continue to shampoo and condition your hair even if you're rocking a buzz cut or even like a super close zero guard buzz cut, which is your head basically almost shaved. You gotta keep doing this because now your scalp is a lot more exposed. And if it's a lot colder now, because it's basically winter here, you're definitely gonna experience some flaking, you're gonna pay in some dandruff, and definitely your hair's not gonna be to its fullest potential even if it's short or even buzzed or shaved you're definitely going to continue taking care of those hairs because even if they're small they can still give you a hell of a time you can get dandruff it can be dry you can have breaks and it's definitely just because the hair is short and it's hard to notice that doesn't mean it's necessarily healthy and that you can ignore taking care of it just taking that extra step and using the correct shampoo and conditioner to take care of your hair even when rocking a buzz cut or even a super close shave is definitely going to separate it and have it looking healthy because if your hair has dandruff and flakes in it, even if it's a buzz cut, it's not going to look its absolute best. What I recommend is just check out my video. I did. I'll leave a link up in the right hand corner on my five best shampoos for men from all different price ranges and all different functions and hair goals that you can achieve. The fifth and final tip on this list is definitely great if you have a bit of a longer buzz cut and that is continue to brush it like you would your beard hair. This is going to basically how you're going to comb 
your hair. So if you have a fade with the buzz cut, you're gonna have to brush the fade to keep it looking longer. If he's growing out a little bit, you definitely wanna have it cleaned up and organized from the sideburns and neck. And if it's a little wonky at times, and then when it's getting a little longer, you definitely wanna brush it down to have it look seamless, neat, tidy, and organized. It's already a low maintenance haircut and hairstyle, but that doesn't mean it's a zero maintenance. That's taking that extra five minutes in the morning and night to brush it with a boar's hair bristle brush like you would your beard. Definitely cleans it up, keeps it neat and organized. You won't have any like weird ones sticking up. And definitely this is also great to stimulate the scalp, get circulation going, and you can also brush off any may dandruff that you may have or may indicate that you maybe need to switch your shampoo to something that is more anti-dandruff because I've noticed with buzz cuts and shorter hair, you can definitely get more dandruff often, especially if you live somewhere where it's colder and not as humid. And there you guys have it. Those are my five tips on how to look your absolute best when rocking a quarantine buzz cut. If you guys made it this far into the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Because if you made it this far into the video, you're way more serious about dressing better, looking better, and ultimately being better so you can live your best life. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out some of my other videos on screen right now. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.